Hey everyone, this is Kevin with Green Hall Buildings. So today I wanted to price out a pretty simple building and the most commonly priced and built building we do. And that is a 30 by 40 by 10 foot tall. I'm going to break all this down, kind of price everything into pieces for you guys so you could understand what all is being priced on this building. And then at the end, I'm going to give you a total, but then you could decide what you want to add and total that yourself. So real quick, I'm going to start with out the shell and the landscaping. Show you guys the shell of the building. Now we build post frame buildings. We also st build stud frame too. Um, but my preferred method is post frame by far the strongest. Um, and they last forever guys, especially the way we do stuff. So we do laminated columns three ply two by six laminated columns eight foot on center with post protectors on the bottom we also have concrete cookies underneath them with two bags of concrete around that for uplift protection our wall girts are two by six two foot on center we have a double two by twelve ledger board right there that carries the load of our trusses. Our trusses are standard four foot on center with a 10 pound sewing load and a 25 pound snow load. Sewing load allows us to put a ceiling on it either when we're in construction or down in the future. What else? Uh, bracing. So this program I'm using does not show any bracing. We use corner bracing in every single wall wind bracing up in our trusses lower core bracing and jack bracing we use a lot of bracing and this is standard all right so now let's get down to the details on pricing before we put the skin back and all that the concrete the concrete inside the building 30 by 40 concrete is six thousand six hundred dollars this includes four inches of gravel for finished grading 10 mil plastic half inch rebar two foot on center and microfiber and the concrete we always do is four thousand psi um, we don't do three thousand thirty five hundred we do four thousand so that again that's six thousand six hundred so now let's add the skin and the landscaping bag. So let's start with the price of just the shell without the soffit wainscoting and doors and all that. So just the shell alone is 27,676 at the shell and labor. This is all labor costs. Everything I'm pricing you guys is all labor and materials. So our next thing is the 36 inch entry door that door i always use fiberglass doors um, because steel doors get dented pretty easy and i hate main things so that door is 475 dollars the garage door our standard garage door is two inch thick insulated steel backed commercial grade they're heavy, heavy duty doors. So a 10 by 8 garage door for this building is $2,037. Now if you want a window, our standard windows, oops, there we go, is a 4 by 3 sliding window. I use 4 by 3s this way. The bottom of the window is usually around 42 inches, somewhere around there. Um, this allows enough room to get cabinets and countertops underneath it so a window each window is four hundred dollars let's move on to wainscoting which is right below the window wainscoting a lot of people get confused on what it is it makes your building have that two-tone color look um, I like it personally it adds character and function Let's say you back into your building with the lawnmower or truck or something and you damage that sheet. 
that little three foot piece to four foot piece is easily interchangeable compared to let's say 11 foot piece or maybe you've got a tall building a 17 foot piece it is so much easier to change the wainscoting so that wainscoting cost is six hundred and sixty two dollars next thing let's price let's price the soffit the soffit oops too far again is the overhangs past your walls our standard soffit is 18 inches all the way around the building and that comes out to let's see here two thousand eight hundred and eighteen dollars again our standard is 18 inches or 24 inches we don't go under 18 inches because of the design of our buildings I'm not going to get into that detail but uh, let's see here last thing let's go inside the building real quick and I know you can't see it all we can only see the metal my program when you put in insulation it don't it don't add the look of the insulation but our standard insulation is that three inch vinyl back fiberglass insulation I love the stuff it's R10 it seals the building up you know not a hundred percent but it does stop a lot of air movement for for sure and the vinyl back is a built-in vapor moisture barrier so it you won't have that water dripping off the ceiling or anything no moisture problems um, and I'll get into the fiberglass and spray foam later on and stuff like that but that price for the walls and the roof line comes out to five thousand two hundred and three dollars pan back out here all right so the total price of this building with everything we just talked about everything you're seeing comes out to forty five thousand eight hundred and seventy one dollars turnkey this includes me pulling permits, start to finish. Now what it does not include is the excavation. Now we do have the capability of doing the excavation and stuff like that, um, and electrical, plumbing. We practically do it all. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and learning. I very much appreciate it. And hopefully I could get the chance to do a couple more videos of some different size of buildings um if this video goes out pretty pretty well so again thank you guys 